In this tutorial, we're going to be using or exploring how to use wildcards in your if statement so that you're able to find out where a string of text uh, contains a specific value. So we've got two tests that we're going to do in this, uh, or two examples that we're going to use. The first one is we're going to search uh, the codes or the references you see in column B. And at first, we're going to search just uh, for when we've got the uh, the string of A, B. So we want to flag where the, the string of A, B is present in the reference. And the second one is we want to flag where either the reference of A, B or E, Z is available in that reference. So what we what we use to do this, uh, as you've probably seen in many other things, and we did do a video on this before, is introduce the use of wildcards. So wildcards is where we use the asterisks, so holding down uh, shift and number eight, uh, and then obviously putting your expression. Uh, so we're using wildcards either before and after, or both, uh, of your expression so that it could be found within the text. This basically just means, in the example of just on the screen there, is that we would be um, looking to identify where that expression of uh, AB appeared at any point within a reference. So if you've tried to do this already um, using the if statement and you've found that it doesn't work, don't worry, it's, it's as intended really. If we go to put in our if statement here, equals if and we'll put logical test, our reference, so the first one there in row four, equals, and then obviously our wildcard, A, B, D, 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 and then obviously the result being, so if, it, if it's present, we want to just show the value of A, B, so let's do that, and if it's not, then we'll just show blank. Uh, and if you need a refresher on how to use the if statement, or we'll flag up the video, oh, <laughs> the reference, or link even, shall I say, to that video we've done on the screen somewhere now. So this our if statement, basically we want to say if the value of AB is present within our reference in column B, if it is present, show the value of AB in column C, if it's not, show blank. And obviously as you'll notice, we should have had the little uh, quotations around our wildcard statement. So if we do enter, you can see that it's not found anything. Uh, and that's going to be because uh, the if statement doesn't like us using the wildcards as we've done it here. Uh, generally, uh, most expressions in F um, Excel won't like you having that wildcard thing after the equals formula. So in order to do or get our desired result, we have to use another formula or function even, should I say. And that function is going to be the search function. Uh, again, we did do a video on this, so uh, we'll link that on the screen if we can find the reference uh, when we touched on it. But we're just gonna be gr briefly going over it now so you can understand how to use that search function and again, how to use it in collaboration with if uh, to get that wildcard desired search. So our search function, in order to do that, we're gonna do our equal sign and enter the phrase search and open our brackets, and you can see it's made up of two primary parts, and then we've got that optional start number at the end there. So the first thing we need to do is find text, so we're gonna look for uh, AB, and I'm just gonna enter the dollar symbols around uh, that quote, or not the reference, sorry, so it's absolute, so it's not going to move. So we can see we want to search for the value of AB, and we want to search for it within the text that was found in column B. So just enter there. And the last part for start number, uh, this is an optional, we don't need to add this into our formula, so we're just gonna leave it blank. So when it's left blank, it will just default to um, the start position of number one. And by start number, what it means is it's what character would you like to start your search from? So you could, if you entered the value of two, it would start from the second character within the string. If you did three, the third, and so on and so forth. As we're going to leave it blank, uh, the default will be to start from position number one, so it will just start from the beginning of our string. So if we now do our close brackets, you can see that it's found our reference or our text of AB, and it starts in character or position number one within our string. If we were to remove that and put AB to the end, you can see it updates and it now identifies that our expression starts in the fourth position. If we are to actually now remove this, so it's not present there, you can see we get an error message. So we're kind of nearly there. Uh, so we've already identified the formula or the function we need to use to identify and find our desired text. But now we need to know how do we deal with that error message. So really simply, we can now incorporate our second and final function. So what we'll do here is 
we're going to use the function of is number. So you can actually, there's two options you could use here. You could use is error, um, what's going to give you the same result, but for this purpose, we're going to be using is number. Because for our, our purpose here, we're trying to find a reference number in our search function. So it just works really well to make sure it's a number that's getting fed in. So all we need to do is at the beginning of our search, obviously after the equal symbol, is if we type is number, open brackets, and then all we need to then do is go to the end of the search function and enter another close brackets and hit enter. So what our is number function is going to do is it's going to evaluate the search function that's obviously uh, within it. And if the search function generates a number, it'll give it the is number function will give us a true to say yes, and number has been returned. Else in that scenario you saw earlier, if an error is returned, we're going to get a false, as you can see here. So this gives us the real um uh, that this is our wildcard search basically. So if we now put our if statement around this formula we've constructed here, this will give us obviously the true or false statement and we can then use the if function to determine what happens based on that true or false outcome. So all we need to do is just copy this formula that we've entered here. Ooh, and I'll just push a few things on the screen. So what we do is just copy all of this. So we've just got the is number function there. Copy. And come out of that and now we can just construct our if function so we'll do our equals if open brackets and then where it wants our logical test all we need to do is paste in obviously that fun or that formula we just now created so that is our logical test and then we can just do our true or false so if um, a, a number is found ie our search term is within that reference then we want to return the value of a b within column c else if there's, uh, it's not found, so it's a false, we just want to do a blank. Having done that, we can now hit enter, and you can see we've got a blank because currently AB is not present there. But if you remember, we did originally have AB at the start of this uh, reference before we uh, made some updates as examples. So if I just now put it back at the beginning and hit enter, you can see that it's actually now in there, and then we've got the AB has been returned as yes, that reference or that string is available within our reference. And then we can just copy that down and you can see it gets updated for all of our other options or other examples. So everywhere that A, B appears in a reference, so we've got one in the middle in row six and at the end in row eight, you can see the value of A, B is being returned. So how do we now then extend this to do our column B example of if it contains either A, B or E, Z? Well, really simply, it's just extending on the formula that we've already constructed. So what we can do, is if we just now go back into here and we'll copy out our little function again. So just copying out that is number formula that we've got there. So let's just copy that and then come out. And then this time in our if statement, we're going to use the or function. So if um, obviously or allows us to do the two logical tests. So we do equals if, and then the second function we're now using here is the or. So obviously if you didn't know, or gives us the ability to do two logical tests rather than just the one that we get with the if formula. So once we've opened up our or uh, function, all we need to do is paste in here our first logical test. So the first logical test is to see if AB appears in there. Then we need to do a comma to go on to our second and we can then just do another paste to paste exactly the same formula into here. Uh, but this obviously just need to make a slight amendment and we'll just change, move this over to here and uh, we'll make an update there in a second. And all we need to do, having edited both of our logical tests, close brackets and then we can enter what we want to happen if um, the true statement or the false statement. So what should we put in here? We can say, um, we'll just put a yes or no. So we'll just say yes. It, either one of those two is present or we'll say no neither are present so that's what the formula looks like so if i hit enter here you can see that in this first example a b is present in that value so it's going to give us a yes and the reason i made reference to this cell here in row two is i'm just going to put in here easy because we've obviously got our reference in both formulas to uh, column or cell reference C3 to see the value of AB, but we didn't have one which just had EZ. So that's why I'll just put EZ there to reference. 
And if I just now go into the function, you can see that it has now been incorporated into our formula. And actually, I've done it the wrong way around, or, but that the really matters. There's no right or wrong way. But I've just made the reference to D2 in the first logical test, and then you can see C3 is referenced in the second. So the formula is actually saying in our logical test, if either um, EZ is present in that cell or if AB is present in this cell. So let's just do enter and come out of that. And then if we copy this formula down now, you can see how that will update for all of our various options. And what actually might be easier, uh, apologies for just now updating the scan, just remove no because it makes the yeses stand out a bit more. And pull that down. You can see now all the yeses indicate where either the value of AB or EZ is present in the reference. So this is obviously going to be the same. So if AB is here in column C, you can see there'll be a corresponding yes as well. But just the two additionals that where EZ is at the start in row 7 or EZ is in the middle on row 10, you can see our yes result is now also picking that up as well. So we hope you found that video useful. Um, so when it comes to using wildcards with if statement, the approach to use is using the search function and the is number function within or nested within your if statement to achieve that same result. So again, we hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do give the video a like. It'd be greatly appreciated. If you haven't already, do make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification button as well so you are notified of all of our new videos as soon as they come out. If you have any questions at all, please either leave us a comment below this video or you'll find links to our Facebook page and Instagram and even our website in which you can obviously get in contact with us as well if you prefer to that rather than leave a comment below. Thank you very much and we shall see you in the next video.